Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at Terraform State. So what is state? Well, it's a particular condition of cloud resources at a specific time. So to give an example, imagine we expect to have a virtual machine running CentOS on AWS with a compute type of, of T2 Micro. That would be the state that we are expecting, okay? So how does Terraform preserve state? Well, when you provision infrastructure via Terraform, it will create a state file named Terraform TF state. It's very important to remember that name because it literally is an exam question, the exact naming of that, okay? This state file is a JSON data structure with a one-to-one -one mapping from resource instances to resource uh, or to remote objects. And if you're wondering what is a remote object versus a resource instance, I cannot tell you. I would imagine one is a representation of things that are deployed in the cloud and the other one are uh, objects or or things represented in the state file, but they don't clarify it, so I just have to take a guess. So this is kind of what the JSON structure looks like. You can see you see resources, as is describing like a type of instance and stuff like that. Uh, there's not really any case for you to ever go through the Terraform state file and look at it, um, but we might uh, take a peek just so that we get familiar as to what it is doing. So just to kind of give it a diagram to help you visualize this, imagine you have your configuration file. So you have your main TF, maybe a variables TF, a TF vars to load in your variables, and then you run a Terraform apply command. What it's doing is using the Terraform API and it's going to create, well, we'll say these, we'll call these remote objects, but maybe these are resource instances. Um, but uh, it will go ahead and create those things and then those will get represented within a state file so the idea is that um, whatever is in the cloud uh, is going to match what's in that file, okay? Now there is a um, CLI commands for Terraform state, and it's good just to quickly go through them. So we have Terraform state list. This will list resources in the state. Terraform state move. This will move an item in the state. Terraform state pull. Pull current remote state and outputs to SD out. Terraform state push. So update remote states from a local state. Terraform state uh, replace provider, so replace a provider in the state. Terraform state remove, so remove instances from the state. Terraform state show, so show a resource in the state. Uh, some of these are a little bit interesting, so we'll definitely look uh, in greater detail to move, and some of these we will just explore through our follow-alongs, okay?